hello, hello, everybody. Oh, jeez. Oh, look at what what's going on here. Look. Why am I doing this? Why, why, why am I doing this to myself? <laughs> hello, everybody. Uh, welcome to another episode of uh, Eternal Suffering and Damnation. Um, also known as My Summer Car. Uh, a game of nothing but happiness and good things. Um, uh, if, uh, how, how many people remember the last time I played this? <laughs> oh man, thanks, thanks everybody for coming out. Chris Whitmer's here from the beginning. How often does that happen? He usually comes in towards the end. Uh, Scooped on, Narwhal, JV Gamer, Enigma Champs here, Walid Benali, uh, Sam Thunder, uh, Golden Pigeon is here, uh, Captain Boot Hat, TSC 4 b 2 Edo Darren, Teddy Bear, <laughs> Craig Ford, uh, Clo Chloe Nev Aqua, <laughs> uh, Doc Ed Nightmare Crater, um, uh, that, now Danger, they put something in the game after watching one of your stream. Please go find it. All right. You got it. Sir Panda's here. You know what else I got? Hold on. I got, um, I got, I got Nos, the best energy drink in the world. Oh, look how it keyed that out. Isn't that weird? Hold on. Let me, let me turn it again. Oh! <laughs> oh, man. Grayson Conville, Reed Gokart, Colt King, CC Langill, Conyer. Hi, Matthew Vest, Ledger Thompson. I'm just gonna go ahead and continue the eternal suffering. Uh, thanks, thanks for coming out. It's uh, boy, this is gonna be a doozy. I just know it. How do I know? You ask. I just know. I just know. <laughs> oh man, the year 1995. How, how do you like my? Uh, how do you like my? 1869 mustache. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, shit. Where the, what the hell is... Is it dark? Where am I? Where am I? <laughs> I don't know where I am. I can't see a goddamn thing. Am I on my the porch of my house? Yeah, because... Because it's burned down. So, uh... Oh, Jesus! <laughs> oh, man, Outcast the Anonymous. Thanks for the super chat, man. He says, don't be a menace to South Central. That's right. Especially don't do it while drinking your juice in the hood. That's, uh, that's, that's a good thing to keep in mind. If you're drinking your juice in the hood, don't be a menace to South Central. Just, uh, just be kind. Rewind. Oh, really? I got no electricities. I gotta go pay the electricities bills. Hold on, I think this is the... There we go. Yeah, I'm gonna need this. Alright. Jesus Christ, it's dark. I didn't realize this was gonna happen. Uh, where where the hell am I? There's the road. Okay, I gotta go, gotta go to the mailbox. I've, like, right off the bat. Right off the bat, I'm having a hard time. Uh... Man, it's it's really it's really weird um, walking in the dark right now. It's so dark, so dark. Uh, Enigma Champ says, "Go find Grandma." Okay, thanks for the spoiler. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, Enigma Champ already spoiled this for me, so uh, so uh, I'm not going to find Grandma. You know why? Because I already know that Grandma exists now. So fuck that. Um, all right, I gotta pay 133 marks. Okay, can I set up like automatic uh, payments or something? Like, can I set up automatic bill pay? Cause, uh, cause this is, uh, this, this is, this is, this is getting, this getting, it's something's happened. Uh, oh. Show. Joe makes trips. Thanks for the donation, man. He says, uh, Woo! can't watch right now, but here's a tenor for your trouble. Oh, wow. Thanks, man. Look, look at that. He sent a donation. He's not even going to watch today. 
Oh, good. The lights are on. There we go. All right. Wow, this place is a wreck. I wonder if I can ever fix this. <laughs> oh, you know what? I could really use a beer right about now. Hold on. There we go. There we go. All right. All right. Uh... Time I'm fucking coming! <laughs> the out outcast the anonymous. Thanks, man. Thanks for the super chat. He says, uh, for your car insurance, Snake, you need it. You, you know what? I do. <laughs> hey, where'd the battery go that I've always had here? It's over here now. It moved my battery. How dare it move my battery? Huh. What's what's going on with all of this? Okay, I need to do something. Hold on. Where where the hell is my everything? I got wheels over there, so that's good. There's my boom box. It's on my car my car jack. Ah, oh, jeez. Oh man. Hey, Thrumpkins is here. Hey, Thrumpkins. Oh man. Um, oh, Esposito's here as well. Danger! You promised you were moving on from this. <laughs> Look, I uh, I was I was actually thinking of doing Worlds Adrift today, and uh, and I and I got on the horn with all the boys, uh, and the girl, one girl, and several other boys, and I said, "Hey, you, you want to do Worlds Adrift today?" And uh, and they all went to Golden Corral without me. And uh, sure, I could have done Worlds Adrift, but yeah, I, I was, I'm I wasn't feeling it. I wasn't feeling much of anything today. You know, I, I, uh, oh yeah, quick, quick update. I put up a, uh, I put up a Let's Play video of Kingdom Come Deliverance, which is this crazy, awesome RPG game that's kind of like Skyrim. Craig <laughs> <Frank> Ford, <laughs> thanks for the donation. Just cause. Oh Ooh. man, thanks, thanks, Craig Ford. Uh, what was I saying? Craig Ford, what was I saying? I should have played Just Cause, you're right. <laughs> um, oh, yeah, yeah, so I so I uploaded Kingdom Come Deliverance. And I gotta be honest, I don't want to play anything but Kingdom Come Deliv Deliverance right now. Like, I've been, I've been reading up a little bit as to, like, what I can do in that game, and holy shit, it's crazy! Where is all of my vehicles, by the way? <laughs> all of my vehicles are gone. Oh, Scoop Down says Kingdom Come was great. Thanks, man. <laughs> Bald Bigfoot says Danger. Where's your face? It's over here. Ah! <laughs> That's where... <laughs> the, how many people were scared by that? How many people did that terrify? Now, I'm doing a new thing. If you haven't watched in a while, I, uh, I'm not doing face cam anymore. I, uh, I'll just periodically show up as a dis disembodied head. Um, <laughs> Osmo Joe wants more Kingdom Come. It was awesome. Looking forward to it. Uh, what I've done in Kingdom Come doesn't even, doesn't even scratch the surface to what you can do in Kingdom Come. Like, I'm, I'm, I, I don't even know. I've just been looking up some stuff so that, uh, <laughs> Brian said, my wife just raised her hand in terror. <laughs> uh, man. Yeah, I, uh, I I don't have the face of somebody that you want to just pop up in the middle of the darkness. That's for sure. Your your wife your wife is is probably right to be to be shocked and horrified and, and appalled. I'm my face is exactly the kind of face that your wife doesn't want to see in the alleyway when she's trying to take a, a shortcut uh, uh, through downtown. Like, like I'm my face is the kind of face that 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 her mother told her about to to avoid. <laughs> and then you just have it popping up in the darkness. <laughs> Travis Riley's here. Um, uh, but why why would you want to do more than fight drunk guys? Good point, Travis. Uh, I I do want to fight more drunk guys. That's 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 a fact. Uh, fighting drunk guys is like the best part about Kingdom Come Deliverance. <laughs> Dye your beard green for St. Patty's Day, then do face cam. 
I, oh, I wish I had some some stuff to do that with. That'd be a totally good idea. I ordered some stuff because uh, if you if if you don't remember, uh, Pink Mohawk is coming for 50k. 50k Pink Mohawk. That's uh. That's 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 what's up. Um, so I got this stuff, and it was pretty cheap. And basically, it's it's temporary, but it's like hair wax. It's colored wax. Uh, and I and I and I saw I saw I saw this stuff on Instagram. If you spend any time on Instagram, you probably saw the same ad. And you just like work it in like pomade. Oh, good. Another there's another uh, firmware update for my mouse. Good, good. Every day, every fucking day. There's a Update for my goddamn mouse! How many updates does my mouse need? Anyway, um... <laughs> am I going the right way? <laughs> I think I, th I think I got turned around with my, my violent outburst. Um... Or did I? Oh no. I actually have no idea which way I'm supposed to go. <laughs> oh no. Uh, yeah, so... I I'm gonna go this way. Uh, so... Um... It's pom it's pomade, so it's like it's like uh, shit that you put in your hair, like styling stuff, which I I use before. I use uh, Gentleman's Republic pomade. It's it smells like it, something that you would use to kill wasps. <laughs> um, and uh, and and but it's great though. But this stuff is like colored, so. Uh, so you can you can you can it, it 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 washes out. But they didn't have pink, so I'm I I got a couple different colors to mix. One of those colors is not green though. And if I had thought ahead, I would have gotten green. Yeah. Um, hey, Wicked Master Pete's here too. Hey man, an MP MP two eighty X. Um. <laughs> Brian says, don't worry, Danger, we live near Baltimore, which was voted least attractive people in the USA. That doesn't make me feel better, Brian. Your wife was appalled when she saw me, and she's used to really ugly people. She was, she was, she was like, whoa, this is too much. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Lemon Fox says, everyone should update their mouse daily. Every, like, you... If you watch the stream regularly, you know that sound. That sound comes up a lot. And every time, it's my fucking mouse. <sighs> so, uh... I'm really hoping that my truck is over here. <laughs> I think I parked the, parked the, uh, the tanker truck uh, near the railroad tracks. That's why I'm running out here. I'm, uh... I'm gonna get thirsty though. I, oh God, I brought this flashlight instead of, instead of beer. I'm gonna, I'm gonna walk instead of run. I've been, I've been running. Oh shit, I've been running, and it's been making me hella thirsty. Um, why and how do you update uh, a mouse with a taser? What, Kai Wyatt? What the fuck did you just say to me? Uh, I. I, yeah, I don't know. It's a it's a Razer Synapse mouse, so it's like it's a cool mouse, but every goddamn day it wants me to update the firmware, and it's like I don't need this shit. Like it has stuff like uh, it has like software that like it'll track your your clicks per second or clicks per minute, like CPM. You know, if if you're like if you're if you think that you're gonna be like an MLG gamer. Then you're like, oh man, I'm getting like five million CPM, um, and uh, and 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 you're trying to you're trying to moba the fuck out of things. It's also got like different different uh, uh, profiles that you can do for settings. Here's a crazy thing: this thing will go up to sixteen thousand DPI, right? But if you put it up past like three thousand DPI. The sensitivity is so insane that you can't even control your mouse. Like, you move it, like, that much. Like, like imagine that you're moving your mouse like I move. Like, you move it up, like, that much, right? And all of a sudden it's like, backflip! <laughs> so, like, you don't even... Like, uh, this is a crazy mouse, and, like, it's, it's not even usable. 
The uh, the biggest thing is like um, I forget what it's called. It's it's kind of like refresh rate, where uh, it's it, because it's an optical mouse. It's actually not a laser mouse. It, it's a it's a it's a it's an optical mouse. So it takes pictures of the mouse pad underneath. I guess is how it works. And uh, you know, like like a cheap mouse does like five hundred images uh, per second. Whereas the one that I have does a thousand, so like there's a lot more, there's a lot more data uh, that that's, that's being used. My truck is not over here. At least I went the right way. <laughs> uh, try uninstalling the mouse and reinstalling it. That's what I do when I have that kind of problem. What kind of problem? Getting updates? That's not gonna fix Nightmare Crater. That doesn't that doesn't fix them sending constant firmware updates to me. That just makes it so that I have to reinstall the firmware updates that I already have. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is... Oh my god. I'm, I'm not gonna make it. I'm not gonna make it. I'm already too thirsty. I'm all, I, I, I used, I, I, I should have brought beer. <laughs> I'm already too thirsty. And my truck isn't out here. I thought my truck was out here. It's not out here. I don't know where I, I put it. <laughs> Optic Mouse? What's his channel? Yeah, it's, uh, it's Optic Mouse. <laughs> that's his, that's his YouTube channel. Optic Mouse. <laughs> He's sponsored by Razer. It's a good mouse. It's just like I hate that every day I have a new update. <laughs> oh, you have That's right. I have urine. Oh my god, I haven't had to drink my own urine in such a long time. But it's it's highly necessary now. Okay. You know what? I'm feeling all right. Ah, oh, too bad I can't hop a ride on the train. See, there goes the train. I wonder if they're going to add that into the game anytime soon. I want to run so badly. Oh my god. <laughs> and Bloody Kitten's like, get in, buddy. Oh, what was that? That was uh, that was H1. H1Z1, that's right. Oh god. The whole get in, buddy bit. Oh shit! Oh no, I need I needed a ride. Oh... Oh, well, it's time to drink my own urine. Mmm, <laughs> delicious urine. Oh, yeah. I'm bare grillsing it up over here. <laughs> urine is a wonderful treat after a long walk. <laughs> all right, let, let me get every last... It's good to the last drop, all right? It's, uh... Oh yeah, just squeeze the last bit in. Alright, I'm all out of urine. Uh, urine used to quench a lot more thirst than that. But now, uh, no. Nope. It's, uh, it's not as, it's not as refreshing as it used to be, that urine. Um... <laughs> Uh, MPX280 says, last time I saw you stream this, you were overstocking your van with beers. Uh, that's a, that's a genius style. Yeah, I was, wow, that was a long time ago. Yeah, I was cramming crates of beer into the van, like, way more than should have been allowed into it. I, I just clipped them through the side, and then it just, like, they were all clipping inside of each other, and that's... That's how that's how you un that's how you that's how you transport some beers. <laughs> Tragic's here. Oh man, danger in the background as I delete files on my hard drive. What you deleting? You deleting anything good? You know I'm going this way because I think it'll be a good idea. Cause uh, if you're around, oh look at this. Oh I'm saved. Kinda. Well, I mean, this'll get rid of my hunger. Oh, man. Uh, if you were here for the last one, you would know <laughs> I drove the car into the swamp. Yeah, you know, just a little bit. 
Um, and uh, and my plan is to get it out. I should have I should have mentioned that. I want to get the car out of the swamp. <laughs> this this whole time I, I I realize you have no idea what my plan for the stream is. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I, uh, I, I need to get the car out of the swamp, um, and, uh, it's, uh, it's really stuck in there. It's, oh boy, boy howdy, is it stuck. Um, <laughs> sounds like you sent it, Danger. <laughs> yeah, I sent it, all right. <laughs> Um, but I don't know, maybe, maybe the, uh, the moped will be out here. That would be great. I really need that moped. And I have no idea where it is. <laughs> uh, oh, he's deleting National che Cheeseburger Day Vlogs. Uh, National Cheeseburger Day Vlogs. Yeah, I mean, you don't, you don't need the footage anymore, I guess, right? Casey Neistat saves every footage that he records and it's such a good idea but it's also something that like he he's got like a hundred hard drives <laughs> you'd you'd need so many hard drives to save all that footage but that said it's pretty cool that he does it because like any time that he needs to to uh, call up some some old memories you know, he uh, just goes back through the archives and finds it. And he's got every like he's got everything meticulously organized too. Like I'm, I'm super, I'm, I'm super jealous of people who have really good organization when it comes to like their video stuff. I'm trying to transport all of my, uh, all of my assets and like plugins and and. And, and video shit from my desktop to my laptop because it's easier to for me to edit on a laptop. Um, I'm trying to transfer all that shit and I'm like going through all my folders and I'm just like, this is a mess. How do I do anything on this computer? <laughs> oh look, the sun's coming up. Oh, I don't think I've ever seen the sun come up like that. Is the sun ever even visible? I feel like it was always just like it just showed the direction of the sun, and that was about it. <laughs> oh, and Danger Jr. Hi, by the way. Hi. <laughs> Who says, well, you suck at every game, Danger. Fuck you, Danger Jr. F fuck you. <laughs> I'm good at lots of games, all right? I'll, I'll have you know. I'm really good at Car X Drift Racer. All right. Remember, remember that one time that that guy was talking shit and he challenged me to a race, and uh, and then he left, and like a minute later, I realized that he challenged me to a race, so I took off, and then I passed him at the halfway point. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Nobody brings that up when I when I when I miss a bullet in PUBG when one bullet goes astray and doesn't hit its target. Yeah. Oh, that's what I'm used to. Yeah, that's more like it. The God Rays. <laughs> Leisure Suit Larry doesn't count as a game you're good at. Of course, it counts as a game. Leisure Suit Larry is the best game. I should play Leisure Suit Larry. Turn off your torch. Save the batteries. Are there even batteries in this game, though? Are there even? I mean, even if there were. Who cares? Who cares? You know what? That's what I. That's how I feel about the the torch. There you go. See you later, torch. Come back when you're something. Come 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 back. Come back when 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 you're somebody torch come back when you're the human torch or uh or the the torch from minecraft or uh uh, uh tor torchies tacos or uh or 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 
when or when you're in the hands of an angry villager. Or or a neo Nazi. There we go. I covered all my bases. <laughs> Um, you should play with Hike soon. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Hey, this is a new house. Hey, look at this. Look at this. It's a brand new house. This has never been here before. And they got some... They got some, uh, some lawn furniture. Oh, man. They really have the best lawn furniture, don't they? It's empty though. There's no nobody lives here. What about this place? Also empty. Oh wait, did I miss the car again? Come back! Come back, I need a ride! <laughs> oh no. Oh jeez. Also they uh they got the, the cornfield sorted out. Those uh, those cornfields are going for days. Um <laughs> Can you buy this house? If I did, it'd be a rip-off. There's nothing inside it. What a rip. Ripperoni. <laughs> Burn that house down. All right. Uh, speaking of burning houses down, I, uh, I've got to manage my stress. There we go. That's better. Oh, yeah. That's the good stuff right there. That makes me feel good. Mmm, delicious. Delicious cigarettes. Delicious, refreshing cigarettes. Smoke at home, kids. <laughs> remember when cartoons had smoking in them? Like Tom and Jerry. I remember there's a, there's an episode of Tom and Jerry where uh, where Tom he's a, he's trying to woo another another cat lady. So he dresses up like a cowboy, and he puts on like a, like a, a south so, so, southwestern country album, and like lip syncs to the guy that's talking, and then he rolls up a cigarette and then he smokes it in like in one puff, so manly. <laughs> he he really he really uh, knew how to impress a girl, like watch me smoke this. Cigarette in one puff. Actually, I don't know if he did it in one puff or not, but he uh, he really he really looked super cool smoking that cigarette. Hmm, <laughs> lung cancer. Now that was back that was back in the days when smoking was good for you. Yeah, you know, that's back when uh, when you're like my grandpa smoked until the day that he died, and he never died. So therefore, smoking's not bad for you. That's uh, that's that was science back then, in the forties. That's that's as far as science progressed. Oh, remember candy cigarettes? The, the oh chalk, uh, chalk and chocolate. Uh, we didn't have any uh, where where I lived. They didn't they didn't have any that had chocolate in them, though. That sounds pretty great. Uh. But we just had the ones that were like that, the, the, the chalky candy. G crazy thing. Those, those candy cigarettes. If you made regular candy out of the shit that they made candy cigarettes out of, no one would buy that shit. That, that, that was pretty gross candy. If, if you think about it, like think really hard about candy cigarettes. What was appealing about those? It was like chalky sugar. It was sugar flavored, first off. <laughs> what the fuck was that? What the hell's. Can I. Oh, my mouse! Oh, I'm okay. Yeah, I'm fine. Alright. What was. I, did you guys hear that? <laughs> Alright, yeah. So, it was sugar flavored chalk, basically, is what it was. There was nothing tasty about it. Um. But yeah, our ancestors smoked every day, and they lived to the ripe old age of 41. <laughs> uh, yeah, and then somebody said uh, bubblegum cigars. I remember my first bubblegum cigar. Um, I was probably like three or four, and uh, it was blue. It was blue. 
And it was delicious, and it was a, a massive amount of bubble gum. And my mom uh, would only let me let me have some of it like once every couple of days. Like I remember going to the beach. We're going to the beach, and I'm like, finally, I get to get to have some of my bubble gum cigar. <laughs> and uh, wow, my truck is not out here, is it? Jesus. I really thought it'd be out here. I don't remember where I put it. <laughs> um, yeah, Grandmaster Gaming's like it was like chalk. It really was. Um, they they later turned those into bones, and uh, not nearly as uh, as appetizing. Like that happened when I was a kid. Like I remember a brief period where we had candy cigarettes, and then all of a sudden they all turned into candy bones. And you can only get them as bones. And then they kind of just died out and disappeared. Um, well, let me finish this uh, refreshing, smooth, flavorful cigarette. How many people are trying to quit smoking? <laughs> and I'm just making it horrible for them. <laughs> Chalk is good for strong bones, right? Yeah, yeah. The, the talc that it's made of is uh, great for bones. <laughs> Well, it looks like uh, looks like I'm getting to pushing then. All right, car, let's go. You know, the good news is because it's the 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 car, it's easy to push. Um, ah, oh, jeez. Um, there we go. Oh shit. Uh, Nightmare Crater says, I don't know where you left the tank or the van, but there are only two cars that we know where they are. What's the other one? I know where this one is. <laughs> what, uh, what, where do you, what are you on about? What do you mean there's only two cars that we know where they are? Is this a spoiler? Did they take did they take the other cars out of the game? <laughs> At this point I don't even know anymore what a spoiler is and what isn't. Oh come on, just go. It does get hard getting things up hills though. Uh maybe if I sprint maybe or maybe if I jump. Oh yeah, look at that. If I get inside it. Watch this. If I get inside... Holy shit! <laughs> Ow! <laughs> okay. Um, that was interesting. Did I... Oh, you know, this would be a good time to, uh, to check to see if... Yeah, there's beer in the car. Hell yeah, I need this beer. Woo! Let's get that beer. Oh man, Dom the Bomb's here! It says, how are you? I'm, uh... I'm suffering. <laughs> and that's my lot in life. I'm uh This is this is this is my penance. You know, if uh if any if 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 you're not a believer and and somebody comes up to you and they're like, "Do you want to go to hell?" and you're like, "There's no hell." Uh there is. It's called my summer car. And this is my personal hell. And, uh, and I, I think if there is a hell, then this is, this is, this is it. This is, this is what's waiting for me for all the bad shit I did. This is, this is, this is what I get. Um, let's see. Can I get in really close, like edge in here? Right. And then pull out my hands and push it. There we go. And key gaming. Hey, key. His name is Key Gaming, and he is a key. It's okay. I don't really know where I was going with that. I was I was gonna have this whole thing about how Key Gaming was a key, but everybody knows what his name's spelled like. You can see it right in chat. Maybe not if you watch the replays. But <laughs> um. Oh, Lemon Fox says the the chocolate cigarettes were wrapped in. Rizla paper and in and inside American style paper boxes. Camel did a, a brand of them. Really? 
Ah, shit. Ah, f I was making such good progress, and then I hit a tree. That's crazy. I mean, Camel is, like, the, the company that was most famous for, like, like, uh, unapologetically targeting children in their marketing uh, campaigns. All right, I'm doing doing pretty good. I'm making good progress now. There we go. Oh man, I'm out of the water. This is great news. <laughs> All right, now just to be on the safe side, I'm gonna rip that e-brake. There we go. That way it doesn't go anywhere. I'm still missing that fender. I don't know what the hell happened to that fender. It's gone. I need, I need to do something about that. But uh, I got my beer over here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a quick pass just to make sure I didn't leave anything on the bottom of the of the swamp. Man, it's so much easier getting that thing out than like, say, the tanker truck. So much easier. All right, let's just throw, throw the beer in the back. <laughs> now let's fire her up. <laughs> <laughs> Out of the water for the next few streams. <laughs> well, we'll see about that. <laughs> All right. This is where it was. The deepest part. The deepest part of the swamp. Um, I got some I got some beer bottles down here. I'm surprised they haven't put like actual legit drowning in the game yet. Cuz like if that were the case, it would There'd be so many times where I'd be like, well, that vehicle's lost forever, because I'll drown if I try to get it out. Like, I'm surprised they didn't. They haven't put that in yet, because it'd be such an obvious thing. I know you can drown if, you, if you're swimming and you drink too much alcohol. You can, you can drown that way. All right, let's, uh, let's go ahead and get this situated. Uh, uh oh. Oh no. <laughs> oh my god. Of course the battery's dead. <laughs> battery's dead. Okay. Well, it's uh <laughs> It's time to go go get a battery. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> James Esposito says it's not funny danger. It's just sad. <laughs> Look, I, uh, I've, I've got two choices in this situation. I can either laugh or I can cry. Uh, and I decided to do both. <laughs> uh. Oh my god. <laughs> uh. 
<laughs> Buck Hunter is like, he's not laughing, he's crying. I, uh, I'll be honest, I'm, I'm having a hard time uh, telling the two apart at this point. <laughs> uh, Love and Fox, like, how could you have predicted that? I know, right? Especially since it had one the last time I was in the car. It's, it's some, hey, 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 ow! What? Just ran me over. He didn't even slow down. He didn't even slow down. Oh. How? He didn't. How? Let me back in the game. How? He didn't even slow down. If anything, he sped up. This is bullshit. Bullshit. <laughs> oh, look where I am. Great news, everyone. I'm back home. Oh, my God. You know, now that it's daytime, though, maybe I can take a better look around and see if, uh... See if my tractor's around here, maybe? Like, where the hell is literally anything? I'm missing all my shit. Fuck this, I'm taking the boat. Is there a boat? <laughs> Is my boat also missing? Ah, I didn't have my thumb out. Yeah, everybody knows that if, uh, if, if you're standing in the middle of the road and you don't have your thumb out, uh, they, that, that, that just gives them the right to run you over. There's no boat. What the fuck is going on? Where's my boat? I don't have a boat. I... I got some fish, though. Okay, I don't have a boat. <laughs> huh. <laughs> <laughs> well, huh, hmm, hmm, you know what, I'm swimming to town, I'm swimming to town, alright, actually, you know what, no, I'm swimming to the devil's house, wait, hold on, I don't have a, uh, I don't have a toolbox on me, where even is the toolbox, it's, I think it's in the car, alright, well, I'm swimming to town, <laughs> All right, strap in, boys and girls. We're uh, we're gonna we're gonna go for a swim. I'm gonna pull out a uh, something like a thumbtack or something. Hold on, maybe that'll work. Can I can I pin this down with a thumbtack? Just jamming thumbtacks in my keyboard now. <laughs> I need I need an auto run. Nope, that's not working. Okay, great, great. Almost knocked over my nos. That would have been just perfect. That would have been just perfect. Maybe a beer cap. I don't know where my usual auto run went. I probably got rid of it because it was a disgusting old popsicle stick. that has been on my desk for like a year. <laughs> uh, how about some other disgusting thing from my desk? <laughs> God, I'm out of I'm out of things to use as to use as things. How about how about this ruler? Uh, maybe that'll do the trick. There we go. <laughs> I feel like it's going to pop off my other keys, but whatever. Oh, Jesus Christ. <sighs> no, the toolbox is in the rust buck to the danger. 
It's what does that even mean? <laughs> and I and I'm pretty sure you're guessing. Nightmare Crater. You, you you've got a history for guessing. And you're and 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 it and and not much of a history for your guesses being correct. So, sorry to talk shit, but <laughs> I'm not taking your word for it. <laughs> Oh my god. Yeah, at least you're getting clean by swimming to town. That's right. I'm going to be so clean when I get there. I'm going to be a squeaky boy. <laughs> and Cara Dad Bonaparte. Hi. Hello. And Faze Rug. Hi. And Ron Fowler. Uh, you took the boat to town last time you streamed this game. Did I? I didn't come back in it? I think the toolbox is in the devil's car. The Dave Dave, Dave Vale's car, car still. Um, I don't know. I think I took it out of there. Because if you remember right, I, uh, I, I, di I, did, I did surgery. I, I did surgery on the car in town. Um. <laughs> He's on point tonight. <laughs> Uh, Nightmare Crater got it correct about the battery being missing. Yeah, but I didn't read that comment because I suspected that it was it had it was full of spoilers. <laughs> I uh, there was a toolbox in the Devil's car. There was, but I'm pretty sure I have since removed it from the Devil's car. That was a long time ago. Wayne Ford, hello. And Boneless Bigheart, you lost everything. Now you have nothing to lose. That sounds like a tagline for a movie. Put that on a poster. He was a man who lost everything, and now he has nothing to lose. My Summer Car, the movie, coming this summer to a drive-in theater near you. It's releasing exclusively in drive-in theaters. <laughs> Oh man, you know, I uh, I remember going to the movie theater when Fast and the Furious came out. I could only imagine what it would have been like if Fast and the Furious came out. Uh, when Fast and the Furious came out, if I saw it at a drive-in theater, because going out to the parking lot after, it's like. Like, I live in a pretty redneck place, and, like, all of a sudden everybody's like, Ah, I'm a street racer! And they were just, like, doing donuts in the parking lot, and everybody was, like, revving their cars and shit. It would have been the worst movie to see at the drive-in. <laughs> What's a drive-in theater? It's a, it's a thing that used to exist. Man, I used to go to the drive-in theater all the time, mostly because it was a really long drive to the big theater, like a regular, actual movie theater. And uh, and where I lived, there was a, a drive-in theater like ten minutes down the road. Um, so I would I would go we 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 would go there as a family because they would charge per car. So like it was five dollars per car. See, see, I mean, and that was like regular ticket prices back then because this is like in the nineties. Uh, so five dollars for a ticket isn't crazy. So they'd show up, you'd show up, and you'd pay per car, and it's like, that's how you get a whole bunch of kids in to see a, a movie. Um, the downside is that there was a lot of mosquitoes. So many mosquitoes where, where this place was. And that's probably the downfall of drive-in theaters, is like, people who lived in areas with lots of mosquitoes. And then the second worst part is people who turned their fucking lights on during the movie. Like I like people will turn their cars on to like to turn their heater on or something or run the AC whatever the case may be, you know and they, and they also like broadcast the audio via, uh, via the radio so you can turn into a certain AM station and and pick it up, um, or you can use like the speaker that usually comes with, the parking spot, and uh, and people turn on their cars but they would also turn on their fucking headlights. And they'd be and they, like and and each of the parking spots like tilts the car up towards the move the the screen, and and every and like all of a sudden just 
the screen would just like you wouldn't be able to see anything anymore because somebody's blasting the screen with their fucking headlights and then they wouldn't turn them off there it's like they didn't know <laughs> oh. um the downfall was it costs a lot to keep one running maybe but in, like compared to a regular movie theater i don't, i can't imagine that that's technically true but the the one that that closed down near me it closed because um the cost to upgrade to new to, to newer projectors was more than they could afford so they just shut it down um you know because they because like these these are all from like the 50s 60s and 70s and then after that not not very many of them opened up but then all of a sudden um you know things started going from film to to digital and they're like, we don't have these these 4K uh, projectors, uh, and we're not a, we're not about to spend like a hundred grand on new projectors. Um, it'd be interesting to uh, to to start to to start one up again, because like now technology is cheaper. Like you can almost get consumer grade projectors that could that could almost work on the scale that you would need for a theater. That said, I went to the theater right before it closed, and it was like a couple years ago. Like, like the one near me held on, held on again because it's a rural area. So, like, you know, why why wouldn't it thrive? You know, like people still went to it a lot. Um, and I remember watching it. I'm like, it was incredibly dark. Like, it w it was not bright at all. I I watched uh 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 a war uh. A war, uh world war z and i could barely see anything because the movie is already dark and uh and the screen was tiny <laughs> um it was so small i was like holy shit i've like i think this is smaller than a regular theater screen <laughs> laying in hazelwood hey man i'm doing all right i'm swimming well i mean i'm suffering but <laughs> Random country boys here. Uh, yeah, uh, I have drive-ins where uh, where my daughter lives, and three drive-ins where I live. There's still one that's somewhat near me. It's actually just outside of Fort Drum, and um, it does really well. You know, it's a you know it, it's it's not bad as far as like a business goes because it's a seasonal business. So like. As long as as long as you keep your costs down, I guess it's fine. It's just like, you know, all all the upgrades necessary to to uh, to work with the modern way that things go uh, was was a lot. I think a lot of theaters had that problem though. It's just that drive-in theaters were already something that was dying because because uh, people don't want to sit in their cars. I guess I don't know. <laughs> I remember drive-in theaters having like the best food. Like you would you would get stuff at a drive-in theater that you normally wouldn't get at like a regular theater. Like like a bucket of fried chicken and uh 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 a a a like five hot dogs. <laughs> you know, like you wouldn't get that stuff at a regular theater. Um Ernest Wright says why and how are you swimming? Well, the how is uh, due to buoyancy. Um, and the why is uh, because I don't know where my fucking cars are. I don't know where my boat is. And uh, and I got ran over by by a guy. And and now and, and then I had to start over. So now I'm I'm just trying to I'm just trying to swim to town because I feel like maybe I left some stuff in town. Uh, Landon Hazelwood says, "Are there no boats in this game?" There are, presumably. I don't know where mine is. Um. Oh, uh, danger! Next time we're uh, we are together in person, ask my wife about our Twilight Zone slash horror movie experience with a movie theater. It was so bad, my wife won't go to the movies anymore. Really? <laughs> like, now I'm really curious. I'm never going to remember to ask that, James. Like, was was it, was it like, 
was it actually scary or was it just like a bad experience? Um, <laughs> uh, oh yeah. Nightmare creator says in drive-in movies, didn't mind if you brought your own grill and started cooking. I think people used to do that in the back part. Cause there's like, there's like the front part of the drive-in theater, and that's where most people are because they want to get close to the screen as close as possible. But then in the back, that's where the hooligans go. And I think people would often like set up tents and like grill and stuff because you you know if you're going to the drive-in theater, you might as well stay for both screenings. Like you pay five dollars to get in, you might as well stay for both movies. Um, make make a night of it. So like you're gonna start around nine o'clock when the sun goes down. And then it's going to go until like one or two o'clock in the morning. Make a night of it. I, I never, I never uh, partook in, in, in that sort of thing, but that's, that sounds pretty great. That combines all the best things like, like grilling and movies. That was, that's just two things, but man, I'm really curious where my goddamn boat is. <laughs> um, Oh, uh, Jim says we stopped on a, on a, on a date at the end of the Island and we're trapped in a movie theater by these t two weird ass staff. What? What? <laughs> like they wouldn't let you leave. Like what the hell? Wait, what kind of theater was this? Like a regular movie theater or a drive-in? Did, did you, uh, did you try violence? <laughs> Because I would have resorted to violence. <laughs> That's fucking weird. Like, were they being aggressive or something? Like, what, what was what was going on? Or the, were they... Was it, was this like the rape theater or something? Like... <laughs> and how, how many other people were trapped? Was it just you? <laughs> oh, my God. Now I need to know. I need to know all about this. Like, like were were they were they like cannibal hillbillies? Oh, regular place at the end of uh, LBI. I want to go there. Can you take me? <laughs> Let's go. I want to. I want to see this place. Was it haunted? Is it a haunted theater? <laughs> were you trapped by ghosts? <laughs> Christian Hart wants to know. Was it a sex theater? Good, good point. Was it a sex theater? Um, <laughs> oh, he says, wait, we went to the police. Okay. All right. I'm waiting. <laughs> I, I'm enthralled. There's my boat, by the way. This is great news. There's my boat. At least I know that my boat is still in the game. Jesus Christ. <laughs> is there any beer in my boat? <laughs> My fatigue is 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 high. Oh yeah, there we go. Oh look at that! I got some I got some grilled fish. I got some beers. Let me uh, grab this. Um, I can't I can't pick up the fucking crate. Uh. Okay, so uh, James went to the uh, police. The cops laughed and told us it has been closed a long time. <laughs> and he went to watch went to watch Men in Black too. So, so it was a ghost. So you were in a ghost theater. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> so what, like? Some people like open the doors and are like, "Yeah, this is uh, welcome to the show," and they let you in, and then you watched <sighs> Men in Black too, and then they wouldn't let you leave. <laughs> uh, oh man, that's uh, that's that's insane. That's literally insane. That is the definition of insane. Um. <laughs> <laughs> now here's the other thing. What, did you watch Men in Black Two when it was out? Like, or was this like many years later? And like, they're playing Men in Black Two. Can you believe it? In 2015? Can you believe that? That's crazy. Oh look, there's my tanker truck. 
<laughs> he says to this day I have no idea what the fuck went on. So like they so so were were they like were they tr like like threatening you with violence if if you tried to leave? Like what what was their deal? Or were they just blocking the doors? Or did they lock you in maybe? <laughs> like chain the doors. Hello. I need a battery. <laughs> hey. There's batteries right here. The hell? I can't pick anything up. Look, there's three batteries over here. And I can't pick anything up. I couldn't pick up my beer crate before. Oh, am I in tool? I'm in tool mode. <laughs> That explains it. Let me throw all these batteries outside. Why do I have so many batteries in here? I must have bought, like, extra batteries. And maybe one of these batteries was teleported. Oh, my God. Uh, uh, James says, no, it was like a retro thing. We just figured we could go grab a movie. Uh, we went to complain that the movie wasn't right. It was all off-center and fucked up. <laughs> That's uh Yeah, that's 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 weird. <laughs> well, that's what you get for complaining, James. <laughs> um He didn't find anybody up front, so he started looking around. This like this is the shit that horror movies are made of. Hey, there's my mom, there's my uh, my moped. James, this is the shit that that horror movies are made of. Like like you went to a, a a CD movie theater, and then and then you real then and you're like, hey, first off, we're the only ones here. <laughs> Everybody else is just a bunch of mannequins. <laughs> when you got in there, was it a was it a, an audience filled with mannequins? Because <laughs> because that would have been my my first my my first uh, my my first thought is like, huh. It's an audience filled with mannequins. I don't know if I want to watch a movie here. <laughs> but yeah, you get in there, the audience is filled with mannequins. You're the only actually alive people. Um, and then, uh, and then, and then, then the movie's all, all jacked up. Oh shit, hold on. The movie's all like off center and stuff. And you go and like the people aren't even at the counter anymore. And, uh, and, 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 and they're, and you're like, you're like, come! I didn't pay for, I didn't pay for 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 a private showing of Men in Black too, just to watch it off center and out of focus. And then they're like, you're not leaving this place ever. <laughs> oh man. Uh, <laughs> Oh, James says it was empty. Okay. That's slightly better than the audience being filled with mannequins. <laughs> it's, it's, it's marginally better. <laughs> uh, um, <laughs> the big danger. Nightmare, you got, I don't know what you're talking about. Like a lighter? Like a big lighter? What about it? Are you, do you mean the bike? What about it? What about it? Yeah, there's a bike here. It's been here for a long time, Nightmare. It's been a, a long time. <laughs> in fact, in fact, somebody pointed it out last time, and it still wasn't a thing that you could do anything with. It's 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 a it's a stationary prop, as far as I can tell. It does it does nothing. It's uh, it's set dressing. That's all it is. All right, let's uh, you know now now we got now we got a moped, we got a we got a semi truck or a, a tanker truck rather. Um, we got a seat belt. <laughs> there we go. All right. Uh, oh, it now has a seat. Okay. Yeah, you're right. Last time, last time I checked it, it did not have a seat. All right, we got we got batteries, we got uh, we got a, we got a we got a moped. We're we're oh shit, that's right. I gotta use my controller. All right, I'm a controller driver now. 
Oh yeah, let's uh... There we go, alright. It is kind of annoying doing this with a controller, just because uh, I can't look around. I, I wish I wish I could map the the look to my right stick, but I can't. Oh jeez. And like there's a, like a little amount of play in my stick. Like you see that right there. And like it makes it really hard to drive this bitch. There we go. All right. Let's go! Um, is the van at Fleetari's? I don't know. I don't know where the van is. I, I honestly don't know, and, uh... And I have some transportation right now, so I'm not gonna worry too much about it. I'll, I'll find it when I find it. It's probably wherever I left the fender. <laughs> I mean, actually, if anything, it's probably on the side of the road over here. In fact, yeah, there it is. See? It's right over there. It's on the side of the road. Okay, so now everything's accounted for. Hey, look who it is. <laughs> Did I get him? Hey, you alright? He's still, he's still walking. He's fine. What the hell? People have been telling me to run him over for, like, a year. <laughs> he only has a little play in his stick. I got a lot of play. Look at that. There's there's no... There's no, uh... uh, uh what do you call? There's no... There's no dead zone option? Well, the option's there. It's just it won't let you do anything with it. It's, like, grayed out. So it teases you by, by suggesting that there's an option for, for dead zone in your controller but then you you, you, you you try to do something with it and it doesn't let you do anything like get on it oh geez god this thing is all over the place oh shit I got beer flying everywhere where's the tractor that's also a good question I think I might have driven it to uh to the to the wood chopper, you know, because I because I had a full load of wood, and I might have uh, dropped it off there. Holy shit! I thought I was dead. Holy fuck! Did I uh did I lose anything? Oh my god! That was scary. <laughs> Holy shit! That, uh, that windshield fucking exploded. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. Alright, let's, uh, let's make sure I didn't leave anything. I mean, besides the windshield. Holy crap. It just, it just bottomed out. It's just like, hey, I'm, uh, I'm too low for this. Bwang. I don't even see the glass. <laughs> Could you imagine if that happened while you were driving and like... They're just on the road. Oh, hey, what's this up here? What's going on up here? <laughs> You're okay, just drink more. Oh, look at this! Oh! What's going on here? I've got like this, this octagon house or whatever. What is this? It's like a giant gazebo! What is this for? Is this a theater? Is it... Oh my god, I think we have a theater here. There's a stage for sure. What is this? Is it a giant sauna? <laughs> what is this? What the hell is this thing? 
Oh, what is this? <laughs> Nigma Champ says, it's a house. Is it, though? I don't think it is. Maybe, maybe, maybe one day I'm going to come here and watch a play. Or maybe it's like the, the town hall, like I'll come here for town meetings. Or maybe, uh, maybe I'll come here to defend myself in court. I don't know. Barn dancing. It's the devil's house. <laughs> Beware of the men in black. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I, what? Is, wow, okay. So, uh, that's something I've never seen before. That's weird. It's so weird. Lo uh, the local seance gazebo. <laughs> a boathouse? I don't know, it's not close enough to the water to be a boathouse. Look at that, that one almost came out. There we go, let's throw that there. Hiya! All right. Um, well, that was that was that was kind of a, a lucky stop, cause like I, I I stopped here because of that bump that I hit, but then I saw that that was kind of lucky. That was that's pretty great. Oh shit! There we go. All right. And. I'll just uh, quadruple clutch it up the hill. Quintuple clutch. There we go. Quintuple clutching just like I should. There we go. All right. I'll just kind of angle down a little bit like so. That's good. All right. A lookout point? Yeah, it could be a lookout point, I guess. Maybe that's where like the the Finnish Coast Guard would be uh, would be based out of, so that they can see the whole lake or something. That's a possibility, but like it has that raised stage, so I'm wa I'm wondering if maybe in the future we'll we'll go to a well it'll be like there'll be like a dance or something like we can go to the go to the hoedown and uh, and get our groove on drink some uh, drink some kill you and 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 dance her troubles away. Man, I am trucking along right now. Holy shit. Hey, what was that? Was that my muffler? Hold on, I gotta back up. I don't know if it was just like a graphical glitch. I'm not gonna I'm not about to get out of the truck to look at it. But there was something on the ground. I thought at first I thought it was a beer bottle. But then it was like really long. It is my muffler. What the hell is my muffler doing out here? Last I checked, that was attached to the car. But Jesus, I'm finding all kinds of stuff. Let me out. Well, I got a muffler. <laughs> this thing's just going to be packed full of shit that I need to put back on my car. Was that a thing you guys remember happening? I don't I don't remember that. There we go. All right. And let's go. Double clutch, triple clutch, quadruple clutch, quintuple clutch. Sex tuple clutch. Is that what Is that what comes after Quinn Quinn is is sex? I don't know. <laughs> Hey, if you see my uh, if you see my fender around here, uh, let me know. I'm also looking for a fender and uh, and an SWF that likes barn dances. <laughs> there's uh, there's Flatari's heap of shit. There we go. All right. Check the dump. I've already checked the dump. I've checked it a lot. I mean, I haven't checked it recently. Like, as of, like, this playthrough. 
But like last playthrough, I checked it. The one before that, I just can't find that uh, that fender anywhere. Can't find it to save my life. Hex Duple. There we go. Thanks. Uh, up north, hunting the Diamond Coast. And then sextuple would be seven, right? An octuple, eight. And I don't know what nine is. I couldn't even imagine. All right. Oh shit. You know, I would, I would normally take the uh, the railroad tracks, but I want to check to see if my tractor is uh, is at that guy's house. How much fuel do I have? About half a tank. Okay, that's fine. A little bit under half, actually. That's a weird fuel gauge, if you, if you can see it. Isn't that weird? Like, half is at the, like, the three-quarters mark. Oh, yeah, yeah. There it is. And you know what? I'm going to take the, the railroad track. Man, look at my fatigue. My fatigue's up there. Oh, sextuple is six, and septuple is seven. Oh, okay, thanks, Wicked Master Pete. I think you're right. All right, let's take let's take the train the train track. It's never failed us before, and uh, I don't see why it would fail me now. There we go. Oh yeah, they've really put some polish on this. They've they've added a lot of uh, a whole bunch of cornfields. It's too bad I can't uh, move my head because I'd really like to uh, to check my rear view. <laughs> oh shit! There we go. All right, we're good. We're good. We're fine. We're cool. We're fine. There we go. I'm just gotta keep it. Just gotta keep it straight. Keep it on the straight and narrow. Just keep it. Keep it going straight. Keep it nice, nice and straight. Oh jeez. Oh, god damn. This thing is so squirrely at high speeds. It's all over the place. Oh, there's the chainsaw guy. Jesus Christ, I'm going to, I'm going really fast. <laughs> I'm hauling ass on these train tracks. Holy shit. Oh my god. Like hitting anything at this speed would be just I'd just be done. Oh, here we go. Wow, I, I stopped a lot quicker than I thought I would. Holy crap. Okay, we're good. All right. The f what the fuck is that? I gotta. I'm, I'm like dragging a tire or something. <laughs> it must be the moped. Well, just gonna have to deal with it, I guess. <laughs> Calvin Campbell. Oh man, thanks for the donation. I really appreciate it, man. Woo. <laughs> thanks, thanks a bunch. Oh shit, Calvin Campbell, no! <laughs> All right, uh, here we are. This is the place, right? I think it is. All right, let me uh, drop this controller down over here. There we go. Did you run over something? No, I think it was the moped. The moped sometimes it's weird about being. Uh, being uh, stored inside of vehicles. Sometimes it'll just act like it's uh, like the wheels are making contact with the ground. All right, I'm here. What the fuck? Are you kidding me? It's uh... <sighs> fuck. 
I had the brake on, okay? I had the goddamn brake on. That's... <sighs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Alright. Let me just... <sighs> the the e-brake is on. Look, the wheels are locked up. I'm just going to keep pushing. At least it, it'll keep it from rolling back on me. <laughs> oh, my God. This is ridiculous. <laughs> Narwhal's like, stupid fucking piece of shit game. This is what you get for playing it. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're, I guess you're right. It's my own fault. <laughs> Looks like the work of Satana. <laughs> Doc Head's like the misery continues. Yeah, I mean, what 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 am I gonna do? Not be in complete misery while playing this? I mean, come on, let's be real. <laughs> Wicked Masterpiece says, I have never seen anyone have these sort of problems in this game. <laughs> well, uh, you know, I'm special. What can I say? I'm a special guy. And, uh, and I have special problems. <laughs> Alright, am I out of the water yet? Almost there. I'm almost there. As soon as I can as I get out of the water and I can fire this bitch up, I'm going for it. <laughs> Thank God for these powerful baby arms. Yeah, that's right. Without these baby arms, I'd be screwed. And also my uh, my unlimited lung capacity. God, my my fatigue has been in the red for such a long time. <laughs> uh, yeah. You pushed it out at low tide. Ah, that's what it was. Because, <laughs> you know, swamps have tides. <laughs> I mean, I guess they probably do, right? Dun, dun, dun. Oh. oh, man, that one Taco Bell guy. Hey, man. Says here's five dollars to pay for flood insurance for your car. <laughs> oh, that's that's gonna come in really handy. Thanks, man. I'm, I'm gonna need that flood insurance. Look at this shit. That this is what happened. Over time, it slowly backed itself into the into the swamp. Uh, I guess I gotta keep pushing. God damn it! I thought I was out far enough, but I forgot I gotta put that battery in still. It's gonna keep pushing. It's going to keep going for it. <laughs> At least those Trump hands are super strong. That's the thing about Trump's hands. Uh, a lot of people made fun of him because they're super small. But guess what? He can, uh, he can strangle a, a gorilla with those hands. He knows because he's done it. <laughs> he's, he's strangled so many gorillas. In fact, uh, you know, he do, he he does he he does two things for fun while he's the president. He uh he golfs and he strangles gorillas. Preferably baby gorillas, but you know, he'll take whatever he can get. <laughs> as long as long as they're endangered, he'll strangle them. That's really what gets him off. That's what gets his dick hard is uh strangling gorillas. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, small but powerful, just like the guy from Scary Movie 2. That's right, Chris uh, Chris Elliott. All right, it's still going to slide, but I think we're good. All right. Let me put this battery in here. There we go. All right. I don't think there's any cables I have to hook up. It's kind of weird. You know, that you have to do everything else, but cables, nah. No wiring, thank you very much. I feel so tall standing next to this car. Alright, let's, uh, let's fire this thing up. 
There we go. What's uh? Wh Why is it making noise? Are you fucking kidding me? I, I'm about to shit my pants out of anger. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna shit my pants so fucking hard. You're not gonna believe it. You're not gonna believe how hard I shit my pants. I'm just gonna shit all over my pants. I think I just blew this motherfucker up. <laughs> Where's the dipstick? Where? There's no oil filter! Where the fuck did the oil filter go? Are you fucking kidding me? <sighs> oh my god. <laughs> fuck you, game! <sighs> I mean, it shows that I have oil. That's great news. Um, there is no oil filter on this bitch. <laughs> oh my fucking god. I'm gonna shit my pants so hard right now. I'm gonna shit so hard. I'm just, hold on, I gotta turn this thing sideways, or else it's just gonna go back in the swamp. Are you fucking kidding me right now with this horse shit? This fucking shit is unbelievable. I most certainly had an oil filter last time I played this goddamn game, and then they just took my oil filter off. There's like, hey, new update's coming out. Uh, you don't have an oil filter anymore. laugh of a man who snapped. <sighs> yeah, I, uh... <sighs> I, uh... Oh, boy. I, uh... No wonder there was an oil filter on my shelf back of my house. It was the oil filter from this engine. Oh, my God. It's supposed to go right there. That's where my oil filter is supposed to go. And, uh... I mean, it looks like my pistons are still attached. That's great news. Um... But, uh... Holy shit, I don't know... I don't know what the status of everything else is, though. Oh my god, I can't fucking believe that. 
<laughs> you know who won't take your oil filter danger? World's adrift. <laughs> oh, you can say that again. Um, let's see. Let's. Uh, some people are saying that I'm out of fuel. That's. Uh, that could be. Um, yeah, it does look like I'm out of fuel. No, I'm. I'm not actually. Okay. I, uh, I hope, <sighs> now the crazy thing is that it says I still have oil. So if I check my dipstick, it says I have oil. Um, can I clean off my dipstick? There you go. I put it back. It says I have oil. It says that. Oh, my God. <laughs> Well, I'm going to go take a nap. <laughs> Alt F4 to fix everything. All right. Thank you. Eric Foreman. Hi. Who says, uh, this game really wants to make your life hell. It, uh, it really does. It really, really, really does. Um, hold on. Let me... There we go. All right. Just gonna, just gonna go ahead and uh, and uh, dri drive on over to uh, to my house. Grab my oil filter. Come back and maybe maybe I can drive this thing. Give it some throttle. <sighs> Holy shit! All right, maybe maybe I got the 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 fuel tap in the wrong direction. Maybe. I mean, I don't think I do, but I might as well give it a go. Maybe I have the uh, the engine shut off. <laughs> Turned off. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay. Oh look, I got, I got some fuel in here. Christ for small miracles. Oh. oh my god. Oh my god, I can't fucking believe it. <laughs> oh. Oh my god. <laughs> my 
Like a mess. It's like they deserves our love, our love and support in this difficult time. <laughs> oh my god, I. You know, I've been having too easy of a time with this game lately. Uh, tell him to take the tanker. I know the tanker's right there. I don't want to take the tanker. I don't want to. There we go. There we go. Let's turn on those lights. Whew. All right. All right. We got this. We got this, boys and girls. We got this. There we go. Let's try to clutch kick it a little bit. No go. The moped doesn't have the juice for a clutch kick. Woo! All right, Heva! Hey, Heva's here. Ah. Uh. Oh, God. God damn. This game is... It's just the worst. It's... It's just... It's just made to make me suffer. Like, it won't stop making me suffer. Like, this far in, things should be easy peasy. I've got a built car. I've got a... I know my way around the game, and still, and still I'm getting just destroyed by this game. Jesus Christ. It's insane. Percy Vadreen, hi! Oh, shit. Shit, shit. There we go. All right, let's, uh, oh shit. There we go, all right, we're good, we're good. <laughs> Buck Hunter's like, and you get hit by a train? <laughs> pretty close, if you hear that right now, pretty close. <laughs> oh my God, this game is just killing me slowly. It's killing me softly with its song. Oh no! No 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 Oh my god God damn that was close Wow that was close Oh yeah thanks for reminding me I do need the sleep I keep forgetting It's okay I'll be fine I'll be fine I'm not about to fall asleep on a moped, all right? <laughs> no, fun fact, no one's ever fallen asleep on a moped before. Oh, jeez. The brakes are touchy, man. They're like super touchy now. <laughs> uh. Oh my god, okay. Whew. Oh my god. Alright. I gotta get my blood pressure down. This game is just... It's killing me in real life, is what it's doing. Alright. I'm just gonna roll in here. I was hoping I could, uh, I could just roll up and grab it. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I should have just drove in straight. There we go. There we go. I got it. <laughs> Uh, 
There we go. <laughs> River Song really wants everybody to to uh, to give us a like parade. Yeah, if you if you haven't hit like yet, there's 99 watching, only 93 likes. I don't know if your like buttons are broken or whatever uh, is a good excuse to use, but we're so close to a hundred. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Skillful, skillful gar garage stop. I didn't even have to get off my moped. There we go. Oh, man. So close. 99, like 100 likes. It's a like parade, everybody. Thanks for 100 likes, everyone. Wow, what a, what a journey this has been. All the, all the pain and the suffering, it's all led up to this, a parade brought to you by the people who hit like. And uh, in spite of the people who didn't. <laughs> oh man, thanks for a hundred likes everybody. That's, I, I, I honestly wasn't even thinking about likes this entire time. I was just thinking about my blood pressure. Which was like the 100 likes equivalent of what blood pressure should be. Which is really high. So much blood pressure. Just like through the roof blood pressure basically. But uh, thanks everybody for liking. Thanks for hitting that button. Thanks for sticking around. <laughs> Thanks for watching, even, even though this game makes me suffer. Even though this game is nothing but suffering for me, I appreciate that you're there to experience my suffering. Let me just hop on this, uh, this railroad track here. I'm sure that there's no train behind me. I'm sure it's perfectly fine. I wouldn't worry about it. I mean, sure, I can't hear what's going on behind me, but I'm sure it's nothing. I wouldn't worry about it. Woo! <laughs> Chris will be 443 says, higher blood pressure than Kevin Smith's? Too soon? It's always too soon. I was, I'm, I was, I was really sad to hear about Kevin Smith's heart attack. I, but I'm so glad that he's alive, though. Like he survived it, and uh, and that's amazing because Kevin Smith is just a great guy. And there's, it's not often that I'm worried about a celebrity, but like that one hit hard. Oh, jeez. All right, there we go. We're good now. Woo. All right, I'm almost there. I'm almost there. I'm coming, Elizabeth. Oh, oh my God. There we go. All right. Let me just toss that air, that that uh, oil filter. God, what else am I missing? Jesus Christ. All right. Uh, oh, you know what? Before before I do go to sleep, my hunger is way high. <laughs> oh, that one Taco Bell guy. <laughs> We watch it because you suffer. Your suffering, your suffering brings me joy. I know, and it's kind of fucked up. <laughs> Where's the pizza? There was pizza in here, remember? Oh, did that fly out the window? Is did the pizza go away? Is the pizza gone? Oh no. The pizza's gone. 
Oh no, <laughs> the pizza's gone. I can't sleep on an empty stomach. I'll wake up dead. <laughs> what am I going to do? <laughs> what am I going to do? <laughs> oh, you know what I could do is I could eat, I could drink beer. That's what I could do. All right, I've got beer. And everybody insists that there's pizza in the car, so hold on. Let me check the car for pizza. There is pizza in the car. Okay, I thought it was in the, uh, the what do you call? Well, that's fine. All right. And I'll grab, I'll grab this case of beer. And, uh, all right, we're good. All right. Well, we'll be fine. I just got to make it back to the truck before I pass out. Python boy, hello. <laughs> and Logan Robertson, hi. Hello. Oh, man. <laughs> Go get more pizza. I'm, I'm, I got things going on right now, all right? I will when I can. Okay. Let's, uh. Let's, 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 let's go to sleep. Oh, there we go. Perfect. <laughs> oh, we're good now. Oh, look at that. I mean, I'm dirty as hell. What the fuck? Uh, <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Uh, this is a weird thing to wake up to. Uh, <laughs> the whole town came out here to watch me sleep. Hi, how's it going? Oh, <laughs> this. Wow. All right. Uh, does anybody know what these guys' shirts say? Does anybody speak speak this language? Um, the, the language being Finnish. <laughs> wow, that that scared the shit out of me. Uh, that was so so damn scary. W waking up and then seeing the whole town staring at me. Uh, <laughs> God help me already. That's right. Oh shit, my stress. My stress is up there. I'm going to die of stress. I'm going to have a heart attack from stress. Oh, my God. Oh, Jesus Christ. All right. Let me just uh, pound this cigarette. This smooth, refreshing, flavorful cigarette. Oh, we're good. All right. <laughs> They're all here to celebrate your misery. <laughs> That's got to be it. All right. Um, oh, race day? Could be. Hey, am I... Um, what the fuck? I put the oil filter right here. You remember me putting it there, right? Where the fuck did it go? Where's my oil filter? Oh, there it is. Oh, my God. That, uh... That scared the shit out of me. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's slap this thingy on there, and I mean it insists that I still have oil, so I should be fine. But I imagine I didn't have any oil pressure without a filter on there. There we go, and and we tighten it on down. There we go. All right, all right. Now let's see what happens when I when I kick this thing over. It's still clanging pretty bad. Oh, and now it's not starting either. Oh, and I'm losing battery power. Well, good thing I brought like three batteries. <sighs> and where's my fucking fire extinguisher? The fuck happened to this car? Well, the car doesn't run anymore. <laughs> Uh, I guess I should tow it back to the house and start doing surgery on this bitch. Um, just, just slap the, 
Slap the hood on there. There we go. Jesus Christ. This thing has been a real a real journey. This uh this car. It's uh wow, look look how beat to hell this thing is. <laughs> this looks like something I I'd want to I'd want to rent when I go to Japan. <laughs> Which uh uh, 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 James, if, uh, if you're watching, I'm, I still have to watch, uh, see that thing that you, uh, that you sent about, uh, about, uh, the, the place that does the rental drift cars in Japan. Cause that sounds awesome. That's exactly what I want to do. All right. Let's, uh, let's pack up. Let's pack up the motorbike. Um, and uh, I got the exhaust back there. I got. Uh, let me grab the beer. I'm gonna need that. Jesus Christ! This has been such an ordeal. Such. Why is this door open? <laughs> such an ordeal. <laughs> All right. I haven't even been on the highway today. I've been. I've been on nothing but back roads and swimming. And I still gotta get the van. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's pop let's pop this on over there. Um, it'd be so much easier if I could see where I was where I was driving to. Like I love the idea of driving with the controller, but logistically speaking, it's a pain in the fucking ass. There we go. Let's go into low range. I'm not even going to bother backing up to it. I'm just going to get close enough. Close enough. There we go. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> uh, why settle for perfect when close enough will do? <laughs> Alright, this, this thing's going to have a lot of slack in it. <laughs> this is going to be... It's gonna be a messy tow job, but you know what? I, I, I'm so far beyond giving a shit at this point. <laughs> uh, Dina Davis, hello! Enigma Champ keeps on telling me to find Grandma. Thanks for the spoiler, uh, Enigma Champ, by the way. Uh, no, I'm not going to find Grandma because you already told me to find Grandma, and now I know that I have a Grandma. Uh, so that's that's... By definition, a spoiler. Uh, so I'll never do that. I will never do that. I'm never going to find Grandma now. So everybody say thanks, Enigma Champ, for uh, for for making it so that Grandma will never have me as a visitor because I I refuse to go find Grandma. I'm I'm there's there I have no Grandma. There is no there there is no Grandma anymore. I will not speak to Grandma. Alright, I hope this all works out. Holy shit. Oh, it's not working out. It's not working out at all. Ah, oh, shit. Uh, let's see. Let's, uh... What's this? Is this the diff? That's diff lock. Alright. Uh, and rear axle. It, it reconnected. Okay. The OBS reconnected. I'm back. I'm back, everybody. I'm powering my way out of the swamp, I think. Uh, let me... Let me let me take a look real quick, uh, if I can. Just nice and slow. Nice, because I'm going to go this way. Nice and slow. Nice and slow. Great news, everyone! I'm back! I'm back once again! OBS keeps disconnecting for some reason. I don't know why. I, uh... I assume it's a YouTube issue. I might have to change, uh, ingestion, uh, servers. If it, uh... If, uh... If, this, if it keeps this up. If it, uh... If it continues in this way. Um. 
<laughs> Dinger's dropping them frames. It's not the frames. It's it's YouTube. I'm dropping that YouTube. All right, we're doing good back there. I mean, it's hopping around like crazy, but uh, but it's doing okay. Oh shit! No! Oh! oh! just happened I hope the car's okay <laughs> car are you okay oh it's not looking good <laughs> you, you know what it, it could look worse <laughs> Um, holy shit, uh, <laughs> well, uh, we got some missing parts, <laughs> uh, <laughs> does it still have a battery? It does. It has a battery. Good news, everyone. It has a battery. Okay, uh. You know what? That could have gone worse. Um, I got I don't know where all the stuff went, but uh it can't be far, right? <laughs> can't be too far. <laughs> um Let me just throw all this in the in the truck. Perfect. Perfect. Exactly what I wanted to happen. Perfect. All right, let's uh, let's see what happened. Uh, God, I was I was too busy watching the car in the rear view. I didn't see I didn't see the train coming in front. <laughs> oh. oh my God! There's a crate of beer out there in the field. Um, oh, here's here's something. What is this? I think it's uh I think it's the door maybe. Yeah, that's the door. Okay. You got the door. I'm not going to I'm just going to put this by the railroad track because like I I don't I I'm not going to it says it's going to take way too long to find everything again. <laughs> All right, I've got I've got a beer crate out here. <laughs> <laughs> Watching the car fly in the air was amazing. Could you see it in the rear view? Okay, we got beer. All right. Uh. Oh yeah, and I got I got to ur urinate. I got to use the urination station. All right, we got beer. I'll leave that right there. I'll just I'll just I'll just uh, pee and run. Pee and run. Good thing I left all the panels, like, white. Uh, so it makes it real easy to find it in a situation such as this. But where do I even look? Like, where did it go? Like, I'm... I... <laughs> I didn't think it would go this far. I mean, to be fair, I, I had, had really no idea how far it would go. Uh... But, uh, it seems a bit far. Oh, look. Look, here comes the train again. We're back for seconds, huh? Back for another round. Where'd my beer go? Well, um, I don't know where everything else went. <laughs> I, uh, I really don't know where anything... I don't know where the hood went. I don't know where the last fender went. I don't know where anything went. <laughs> Hopefully it shows up at the, uh, at the junkyard. That'd, uh, that'd be, that'd be really helpful. If it would just show up at the junkyard. That'd be great. Um, alright. Well, you know, I'm just gonna get back to the truck. Get back to towing, you know? Ah, <sighs> jeez. 
Uh, Danger never put the hood back on, so the hood's by the swamp. Is that true? I thought I put it back on. Um, <laughs> I was like, this game. Oh, this game. <laughs> My sentiments exactly. This, uh, this fucking game. <laughs> this game, it never ceases to make me suffer. I, I haven't even done anything. Yeah, my beer's gone. I put it too close to the railroad track, I think. The beer's gone. Um, oh, there it is. There it is. Perfect. I, uh, I haven't even gotten to anything even remotely update-like. I'll just leave that there. This is fine. Just leave all this here. I'll come back and get it later. <laughs> oh my god, I saw those two mud flaps right there. I thought somebody was standing on the other side of the truck. Like, oh Jesus, what now? What now? <laughs> What's next? Okay, let's, uh... Whew, alright. Let's, uh, let's get to, let's get to trucking. Let's, let's start trucking. There we go. Hey, what's that over there? What's this? It's my hood! <laughs> oh my god, it's my hood. So I did put the hood back on. Fucking nightmare. Fucking nightmare. Oh, you didn't put the hood back on. I know this for a fact. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yep. I, I I see. Yeah, I didn't put the hood back on, did I? Yep. That's why that's why it's it's uh it's, it's sitting there in the field. <laughs> oh my god. This has been a goddamn nightmare, I'll tell you what. This just all of this. Just all of it. <laughs> uh. <laughs> ah, Jesus, what now? My summer car's slogan. That, that's that's what they should put on the uh, on the Steam on the Steam page. Every update should just be called Ah, Jesus, what now? <laughs> All right, we're we're good. You know that said. They definitely made a quality game. Like the, I can't even remember the last time I like I've seen an actual bug. Like I'm in experimental branch, and uh, and like the last time there was a real bug was a very very long time ago. It's uh, it's been it's been relatively a bug free game. That's uh, that's pretty amazing, considering. Considering this game isn't like it's it's not built on like uh, a a a, st a standard of like oh we're 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 making the most realistic high tech game with all the realism like they could get away with a few bugs you know like the you think that they'd add bugs to the game just to make it even harder you know like new bugs would be a feature. <laughs> Unknown Saiyans here, hey man. Did you kill Status D? No, I'm not a murderer. I'm not a murderer, Unknown Saiyan 49. I don't just kill people. I'm just uh I'm just a Finnish boy. I'm just a Finnish boy trying to build a Finnish car, alright? <laughs> Play farming sim, please, danger. I'd, uh, I'd love to get everybody back in for farming sim. I did like that solo farming sim, but like, it just turned into me uh, talking about my, my fan theories about Home Alone, Blank Check, uh, and several other movies. <laughs> I'll see you, Reed Gokart. 
He's got a leaf now. Bye, bye, Reed. Bye, Reed Gonkart. Bye, bye. Bye, Reed. <laughs> I'm just—he's just a Finnish boy living in a lonely world. He's just a Finnish boy living in a lonely world. He took the midnight train that ran over his car. <laughs> She's just a Finnish girl. <laughs> Born and raised in South Finland. <laughs> oh man, that would be a really great cover. That's a great idea for a cover. So I, I should, uh, I should get Brennan Dean on that. <laughs> They're the cover boys. There we go. All right. Oh, we got the car back. Let me. Uh, yeah, this is fine. This is perfectly fine. This is fine. Well, uh, you know what? I think that's a good place to uh, to call it. I think uh, I think the next stream, I'm gonna have to do some exploratory surgery and uh, pull this thing apart and see see what broke. I bet it's the uh, I bet it's the head gasket. I bet I bet I I need to I need to uh, fix the head gasket because <laughs> um, like the. Uh, the, the 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 pistons and uh, and uh, and connecting rods they they seem to be in place. Usually things fall off when they go bad, but who knows? Maybe I'll have to pull the the pistons out. You know they they look kind of rusty, so maybe that's a thing. Maybe maybe they got too rusty. You know that's the problem. That's that's what happened. The car the the pistons got too rusty. Um. <laughs> Oh man, I had, a, I had a moment of panic where I thought I didn't have an exhaust manifold, but it's it's on the back of the engine. It's right next to the intake manifold. Great design, huh? I've seen a few cars that were like that, and uh, and they would often have uh, uh, like leaning out problems because uh, the the intake manifold would heat up as hot as the exhaust manifold because it would just transfer the heat into the intake manifold. It was uh. Not the best. Not the best design. <laughs> well, uh, there, there, there we go. There we go, everybody. I, uh, I got the car back mostly in one piece. Um, I, uh, I popped the motor. The motor's, the mo the motor's pretty well popped. Uh, if there were tools in this car, they're gone now. Um, <laughs> I got some cool, some cool window stickers. Has anybody ever seen this before? The the uh, I uh, I changed out the window stickers. I've got a uh, <laughs> one of these days. I gotta get the uh, the cut the custom paint job on because somebody made me a custom paint job like a year ago, but I've never been in a good enough position to uh, to do it. Oh yeah, and look. I mean, technically not true, but uh, just the same. I'll probably be doing something on Twitch this week. I bet. Uh, the, the only way you'd know is if you were following. Oh, there we go, everybody. Thanks. Thanks, everybody, for, uh, for watching. Check the book yet? Uh, check the book. Okay, I'm gonna check the book. Let me check, check this book. All right. I'm checking the book. All right. All right. Got wheels. Um, uh, got all this stuff. All right. Uh. Okay. Ooh, a new, uh, new flywheel. That'd be good. A, a, a more lightweight flywheel. Get some higher revs going on. That'd be cool. Um, ooh, nitrous oxide. I haven't gotten the the nitrous oxide system yet. Or this, uh, this, uh, racing carb. Um, that'd be cool. I mean, I've got other issues to work out before I get to that part, though. The, uh... The racing suspension, I think that'd be great. I I wanted to do that right before all this bullshit happened, but yeah, eh, nothing nothing changed in the book. That's all. That's all stuff that was there before. Well, there there we go, everybody. Made it to the end. Um, and uh, and boy, what a what a what a lovely time we had. What a lovely time. What a what a great day. 
<laughs> Hugs for danger. Hey, Ninja Hobo's here. And Rebelson. Have you been to jail yet? Of course I've been to jail, Rebelson. Of course I have. Look, look at me. Look at where I live. Of course I've been to jail. I burned my whole my own house down, cooking fish. Of course I went to jail. I'm lucky they let me out. I'm a danger to myself and others. All right. Of course I've been to jail. They would have left me there if they could have, but they had to let me go. <laughs> oh man. Well, uh, well, th thanks, thanks everybody. Thanks, thanks for all the support. I I really do mean it because you guys make it possible for me to continue this as a job. If it weren't for you guys, I I wouldn't be able to do this. I'd probably still be making videos, but nobody would watch, and I'd probably feel pretty bad about it. I'd be I'd be so sad. I'd be so sad if nobody was watching my videos. Speaking of, of videos to watch, I uh, don't forget I put out a uh, the first episode of Kingdom Come, which is a an, an RPG game like S Skyrim. That's there's so much going on in that game. I I can't even begin to describe because I don't understand it fully. There's too much, too much going on. <laughs> That uh, I couldn't possibly begin to explain to you the depth of this game, and I'm I'm looking forward to doing a lot more. I'm gonna put up another episode tomorrow, I think, as long as I have it edited in time. I edited one, and then I, and then I put it up immediately. Now I gotta edit another one. I probably should have sat on those episodes for a while, but I really wanted to get it out there. But anyways, thanks, thanks everybody, thanks uh, that one Taco Bell guy, and uh, and Kelvin Campbell, Craig Ford. Joe makes drifts for your donations. Thanks, Outcast the of Anonymous, for the super chats, and uh, and I'll see you guys. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for for hanging out and uh, being cool and letting me have a cool job. <laughs> see see you guys later. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. <laughs>